In the wake of the latest Beyond Light trailer, we now have even more information on some of the items, some of the exotics we've seen within this trailer. And wow. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So Beyond Light is right around the corner, and today we cover some of what's on offer. So let's go. And starting with new information on exotic weapons. Okay, so the no time to explain returns. We knew this already. Precision hits and hits against enemies affected by stasis will return to the magazine. Stack this effect to summon a portal which will fire bursts from an alternative timeline of the weapon. Like, like what people? What am I reading here? That sounds incredible. I mean, it's been a long time since I've been hyped about Destiny. You guys know this. Haven't covered much of it on my channel, but man, some of these things do truly get me hyped. So yet yeah, no time to explain sounds incredible. Cannot wait to see that in action. Okay, so the layman, I think that's pronounced. Looks like a ram crossed with a chainsaw, but it is a sword, people. A mortal blade, a stalwart shield, block with the layman to rev the blade, then shred through shielded enemies. At its peak, damaging an enemy will heal the wielder. Pretty cool. Looks incredible though. Okay, so next up is this sniper which was teased a few days back. We now know it's called the Cloud Strike. And guys, this sounds like Thor's weapon. If Thor had a weapon that shot, this would be it. Precision final blows will generate lightning bolts at the target location. Rapid precision shots will summon an entire storm at the point of impact. Like, wow, what is going on? And lastly guys, for the weapons we have the Salvation's Grip. This is a grenade launcher. Redemption within your grasp. Each fired projectile will create stasis crystals that will freeze nearby targets. Charge to increase the amount of crystals created and the freeze radius. So that sounds pretty unique, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so let's move on to the armor. And firstly, Titan Gauntlets. The Icefall Mantles. Stand tall against the oncoming hordes with this reinforced armor that replaces the Titan's barricade with overshield absorbing damage from incoming fire. Wow, people. Next up, we have an exotic titan helm. The precious scars. Prove your strength, even when coming back from the brink. Upon revives, the titan gains an overshield aura that protects the wearer and nearby allies. Man, I can feel this being used and abused in trials. What do you think? Okay, so next up, we move on to the good stuff, the hunter stuff, and a new hunter exotic helm called the Mask of Bacchus. Don the Mastery replaced the Hunter's dodge ability with a longer range shift ability that also temporarily cloaks the wearer during use. Now to me people that does sound a bit like a blink. I mean I could be mistaken here but that's kind of what it sounds like to me. What do you think? Let me know down below. Next up Hunter Gauntlets. The Arthur's Embrace. The Hunter's Weighted Knife gains a second ricochet. Rapid precision hits gain a damage bonus and can temporarily stagger enemies. Sounds pretty cool, not gonna lie. Okay, so finally onto the Warlock, and first up, a new exotic helm, the Dawn Chorus. Feel that sweet burn. The Warlock's Daybreak projectiles deal extra damage and cause enemies to burn on contact. Gain melee energy each time a burn damages a target. Pretty cool. And lastly, guys, Warlock Gauntlets. Necrotic Grip, a deadly caress compounded. Melee attacks corrupt enemies with increasing damage over time. Defeating a corrupted combatant spreads the corruption to nearby targets and restores melee energy. Pretty cool people. So yeah guys, I'm not gonna lie, I am excited. I like the direction they seem to be going here, so count me in. But let me know what you think about these new exotics, these 10 new exotics down below within that comments section. There could be even more, we just don't know yet. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. These were 10 new exotics coming with Beyond Light within November's DLC. And I cannot wait. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more D2, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.